thought I'd do just a quick follow-up video to my MiFi uh, unboxing I did the other day. Um, I've had a, a quick play with it now, and uh, I'm quite impressed. It's it's not bad. It's not you know amazing speeds, but for you know for what I think most people want to do, they'll probably find it very useful. Um, so I thought I'd have a quick look at the the configuration uh, page, uh, and also do a, a couple of quick speed tests. Now, once you've installed the, uh, the setup in my five, you can either plug it via the USB cable into your laptop, or you can connect to it obviously via Wi-Fi. Um, either way, you can connect to this 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 home page here, which gives you, uh, without logging in, some some basic information: how much data you've sent, received, total, duration, uh, any text messages or SMS messages that be received, and also. Just up here, you'll also see your connection type, strength. The globe shows you it's connected to the internet. Wi-Fi symbol has a little number next to it, where it tells you how many uh, devices are connected, plus the uh, battery life. Um, now you can log in, and that allows you to change a number of settings. Let's uh, have a quick login. Let's have a quick look. Now, once you've logged in, there's quite a few more settings or things you can have a look at. Um, profile name, the connected IP address, connection type, uh, how many devices are connected, um, traffic volume, how much you've downloaded, how much you've uploaded, uh, also the number of clients or the type of clients that I've, I've connected. Um, you can also have a look at any SMS uh, messages you may have sent or received. And the third tab really is all your settings where you can change uh, network network settings. You so you can do uh, 3G only or you know change that to uh, to preferred 3G. Um, you can change the uh, WLAN settings, um, DHCP security, set firewall, etc. Uh, so there's quite a few settings you can then go go and change. So you can change, you know, also you can change the SSID, the and also the key for it. So if you want to make it a little bit more secure or a bit more user friendly for connecting onto it, uh, so there's quite a few things you can do with that. Um, so let's have a quick look at some speed tests. Uh, I'm just trying to put a couple of tests to sort of give you an idea of its speeds. I mean, this is capable of. Uh, 21 meg download today. I've been nowhere near that, uh, but for, like I said, for for what I, you know, what I wanted to do, it, it's pretty good. I've sort of been about two or three meg for the few tests I've done today. Uh, 60 milliseconds ping time. You know, it's not, you know, earth shattering by any means, but it's 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 quite handy. It gives you that bit of flexibility when you're out and about. If you've got a you know iPad uh, or another tablet, you know, and you haven't got uh, you know 3G built in, this is quite handy. Laptop, again, quite handy for. So that's going to be one 1.17 down and 171 up. So we'll just run that again. A little bit slower this time. Which has been sort of been a bit typical of today, you know, sometimes it's been quite quick, sometimes it's you know it seems to be waiting. Don't know if that's a problem on the three network, my area. I mean as as most people sort of know with you know, mobile broadband, there are lots of things that can sort of have an impact on how quick your speed is. Um, but I think, you know, most people, you know, sort of buying one of these will probably find them quite useful. As I say, mine's on a rolling month contract, which I intend to cancel, which then I will top up, you know, as of when I've needed, because I'm not going to get my £15 worth out of this each month. And, you know, I'll use it, but not that much. Uh, but it certainly do for what I need to do. Uh, there you go. A couple of tests. Uh, thanks for watching.